Hey athletes, so if you're like me and every once in a while you get a twinge or a, a small, very minor injury that might set you back two to four weeks, let's say, every once in a while, okay? If it's happening very frequently, like you go one month and you're fine and then you go a month and you're injured and then maybe you make it six more weeks and then you get injured again, you're probably doing something wrong, whether it's with how you structure your program, maybe it's too much volume for certain things, or maybe you're just going at it just in the wrong way. Maybe your form is jacked up, okay? But if if you're like me, and thankfully, it's been two years since I've had any twinge where it's to the point where, you know what, Josh, I just need to take a little bit of a break, let my body recover, and then I'll get back into it. If that happens, you, you need to make sure you rebuild your form. So again, I... I twinged a few things in my left leg. Now, they it's not that they don't work. It's just they're not responding how they used to, okay? So, when I would do a squat, I would have full control over both of my legs. They both fire almost the same, okay? I'm, I'm certainly right leg dominant, so my right leg certainly does a little bit more than my left. But right now, it's instead of being, you know, 51 49 percent it's more like 60 40 okay so i need to rebuild so that my body is using both limbs the same amount how do i do that i do a lot of single leg exercises in the pool okay because i can unload my body to the point where it's basically like i'm floating in space right especially if i'm in deep enough water and i can work one leg at a time and i can work on all the eccentric loading and concentric loading and then as i get better and more proficient at using that leg again i can take myself out of the water a little bit so that rather than being you know only let's say 20 percent of my weight or whatever it is at the depth that i'm at i can put 40 percent of my weight on the leg and then i can slowly build myself back up to being on the land and using both of my legs the same okay the pool can be great for me again getting this leg to work i'm doing plyos in the pool i'm doing balance work in the pool i can go laterally forward back i can do way more repetitions because my weight is severely less, okay? And again, I can really focus on moving slowly because again, because I weigh less, I can move in very, very slow, like one step up taking 30 seconds, okay? That way I'm giving my body a chance to make all those neural connections into my leg so that all my stability is there and my recovery will come back that much faster. Plus, my joints are more unloaded. My body gets a chance to kind of just relax in that pool. Now, for my right side, my good side, I can do really explosive things. I can jump as hard as I possibly can. I can take myself up to the land and I can do one-legged step ups that way and explosive and jumping and sets of 10 and I can do single leg jumps, broad jumps, sideways, forward, back, and again, I can still overload or at least do my best to overload my right side so it continues to get stronger. My body understands that, hey, you don't want to be asymmetric, so I still need to make sure I can do that on my left and I can still improve my left. So when you get hurt, you need to make sure that you're rebuilding your form, right? Putting as much mental energy into how you do your movements. Getting in the pool can be a great way to do this. And again, that way you can come back less rusty and ready to rock.